Hey everyone, my name is Justin, and today I'll be talking about our newest algorithm for solving the multi-robot motion planning problem. Let's assume we have a continuous environment, and within it there are obstacles that we must avoid. Multiple robots exist within this environment, each with its unique dynamic constraint. We would like to move all the robots from their start locations to their goal regions while avoiding collisions with obstacles and other robots. As we all know, this is the traditional multi-robot motion planning problem. Traditional approaches to MRMP belong to two categories, coupled or decoupled. Coupled, also known as centralized algorithms, combine the multi-robot team into a single meta-robot by stacking their states and dynamic constraints on top of each other. These algorithms tend to offer completeness guarantees, but cannot scale due to the exponential growth of the search space. Decoupled, also known as decentralized algorithms, work differently. These algorithms plan for individual robots separately and share their solutions with some high-level manager. The manager then reasons about the system behavior and communicates required changes to individuals. Decoupled algorithms tend to scale well, but fail to offer completeness guarantees. Traditional approaches force users to compromise certain desired properties in place of others. Our work, however, is different. First, it adapts conflict-based search, an efficient decoupled algorithm for solving the discrete analog of MRMP, known as multi-agent pathfinding, to solve the MRMP problem. This adaptation is done natively in the continuous domain, rather than using a continuous discrete hybrid approach. The second difference is that KCBS adaptively couples subsets of robots to improve the search as needed. This enables KCBS to extract the advantages of both coupled and decoupled algorithms, offering the user generality, scalability, and completeness guarantees. KCBS is a two-level search consisting of a high-level constraint tree search and a low-level motion planner. At the high level, KCBS tracks a constraint tree where each node represents a possibly colliding MRMP plant. A root node is obtained by using a sampling-based motion planner, such as RRT, to find a trajectory for every robot from start to goal while ignoring other robots. Next, KCBS picks an unexplored node from the constraint tree, simulates the plan, and identifies any conflicts or collisions. The conflicts are resolved by creating child nodes and adding constraints. For example, if the red and blue robots collide within the highlighted region, then two children are created one with the constraint that the blue robot cannot be in the highlighted region for a specific time, and the other constraint that the red robot cannot be there. Then, each child node calls the low-level motion planner to replan a trajectory for the newly constrained robot. This process repeats until a non-colliding MRMP plan is found. I will now elaborate on how conflicts and constraints work. Let an arbitrary KCBS node represent the following MRMP plan. During simulation, the first point of collision, or conflict, is found between the orange and blue robots. These robots continue to conflict for some finite time interval. Within every collision, there is a set of conflicts. The set of conflicts represents a single constraint. For example, the blue robot must avoid colliding with the orange robot's conflicts while replanning, as shown. The converse is used when replanning for the orange robot. These definitions enable KCBS to efficiently solve MRMP problems. However, as it stands, KCBS is incomplete. To achieve completeness, we employ a method called merge and restart. I will explain the procedure through an example. We begin by selecting a merge bound B prior to planning. We denote the merge bound of KCBS by placing it inside parentheses. This parameter is tunable by the user. For example, we can set B equal to 3. Next, we begin planning for 10 robots in a fully decoupled fashion. As planning progresses, conflicts are found. Every conflict is tracked as part of a global counter. If the number of conflicts between any pair of robots reaches the merge bound, the pair of robots are merged into a single meta-robot. Then, KCBS restarts. This time, however, it solves a 9-robot problem because two robots are now coupled together. This process continues until a solution is found. In the worst case scenario, all robots are eventually coupled together and KCBS becomes a coupled algorithm. However, we show that this is rare, and in general, KCBS finds solutions way before reaching this point. We examined KCBS in multiple settings against two approaches, coupled RRT, which offers completeness guarantees but limited scalability, and prioritized RRT, an incomplete decoupled algorithm that offers improved scalability. 
We show that KCBS scales better than both algorithms and the merge and restart procedure improves performance in congested environments. To begin, let us compare PRRT with KCBS. Note that KCBS outperforms PRRT in success rate, especially when the merge bound is large. Additionally, KCBS finds solutions much faster than PRRT. This shows us that, in general, the merge bound for KCBS should be large because it enables the algorithm to keep the robots fully decoupled for longer. Compare this to an environment where the user would expect a lot of congestion, such as the one shown here where two robots must navigate a narrow corridor. In this space, the success rate of CRT is very low because the algorithm couples all three robots together, blowing up the state space. PRT also has minimal success because it plans in a predefined order, exploiting its incompleteness. KCBS, on the other hand, offers improved performance, especially when the merge bound is low. When congestion is expected, selecting a low B value allows for better performance by coupling only a subset of robots rather than the entire system. In this example, the best decision is to quickly merge the blue and green robots while keeping the red robot decoupled, as seen. We also tested KCBS on a retrofitted MAPF instance to show where KCBS thrives. When the number of obstacles is large, KCBS reliably scaled to 15 robots when given 5 minutes of planning time. However, when all obstacles are removed, KCBS scaled to 20 robots, each with a 5-dimensional state space and second-order dynamical constraint, a combined 100-dimensional state space. This work presents KCBS, a scalable and probabilistically complete algorithm that makes no assumptions on the robots' dynamics or control abilities. Future work will focus on improving the algorithm by emphasizing scalability and optimality. Thank you all for listening, and I look forward to answering any questions you all might have.